Hey there YouTube, California Prepper. Well, happy December guys. It sure is getting a little chilly. My birthday is, what about, say 14 days away now. So, a uh, bit excited about that. Uh, got a couple free hours this this morning. What time is it? It is now 7.50. Got the kids fed, cleaned up, ready for school. Everything's good to go. And, uh, got a little bit of time for myself so I came out here to check on um, this project I've been working on actually let me uh, clue you in on exactly what this is because I didn't get to share it on Instagram like I wanted to um, this week at the in-laws house went up to the in-laws for uh, turkey day celebrate Thanksgiving with the in-laws had a great time and um, they live up in the mountains and or I guess the foothills you can call it and um, we were chomping around in the woods and uh, my father-in-law's new ranger hit a uh, little ATV type uh, deal and uh, we came across this old uh, Bud K uh, I don't know if I should call it a katana uh, but that that's what it's supposed to be you know like a, some sort of sword I, I'm not very savvy on swords at all I just uh, seen it and went and picked it up and it is beat all to hell it is horrible condition um, but the sheath actually wasn't too bad and I said hey you know what I, I love knives I love blades this might be something fun to try and restore um, the blade is absolutely rusted all the crap I have some pictures that I took originally the first day that I got it let me show you guys I was gonna upload these to um, Instagram I was trying to use some insta what was it, InstaFlip or some stupid little um, video maker and it, it sucked. Every single one I downloaded, none of them would let me upload it. So here it is, let me start it over. Just some pictures that I took of the knife originally. See stupid glare today. All right, that's not gonna work, is it? Let's see. All right, let me just go to the pictures for you because that isn't working. Um, all right, right here, here is, dang, glare, of course shouldn't have came outside for this, there's the sword itself if you can see it, a few more, that's how horribly rusted the blade was, you can see the Bud K emblem, another Bud K that's how rusted the blade was I mean it's absolutely horrible condition but I figured what the hey why not um, go ahead and use some WD-40 on it soak it down soaked it down um, on a plastic bag completely filled the bag up with uh, WD-40 and for the last 48 hours it's been soaking in this bag of W40 WD-40 so that brings us up to speed on where we are now the sword itself is still wrapped up in the bag, still dripping WD-40, completely soaked. I'm hoping it'll take uh, some of that surface rust off, then I can beat the rest off with a couple. I have some files out here, a couple files, and uh, again, some WD-40. I have a bucket of hot, soapy dish water over there. I have some, um, some really rough, uh, I don't know what grit this is says P80 um, so uh, grit sandpaper some really rough stuff so I'm gonna just try and knock as much of this rust off as possible and uh, see if I can't get it to be like I said uh, a zombie chopper uh, it you know zombies don't care if it's rusty if it's going through their head and uh, of course I don't believe in a zombie apocalypse but it, it's just something fun to do and uh, you know, figured why not try and restore it. You, you never know, this could turn into a real fun project and uh, so far it, it seems pretty promising. So let me go ahead, stop the video here. I will get into this bag and we'll pick up there. California Prepper, we'll be right back. All right, we're back. We just now pulled the bag off, haven't done anything else. As you can see, I told you this thing is rusty, guys. It is horrible. It's a little loose, it rattles, you know. But I figured I might be able to do something with it. You never know. I didn't want to just throw it away or see it rotten uh, in the woods. So 
especially with the sheet. The sheet is still really nice condition. I don't know uh, what material it is, but uh, it held up really good to the weather. So let's go ahead. I've got a couple rags and work towels here. Try and, this is just completely dried. Try and wipe it off. Wow, a lot of rust has already come off of it. Now, like I said, I got a bucket of hot soapy water that we will add to the mix. Let's go ahead and adjust the camera here so you can see what we're working with. Boom, there we are. I'm just gonna take it, scrub it down. It's hot, thank you. Yeah, it's so cold out here. Look at all that steam this morning. Ooh, this water was burning my hands hot. Got it from the laundry room and that we keep uh, that water heater turned up for the laundry. So this was scalding hot water. Not sure if hot water is good for a knife, but as you can see, I'm not scared of it rusting. Uh, just trying to scrub some of this stuff off. It's going to be real fun to see if I can get this back to shape. Be quiet, dog! So, I'm going to go ahead and keep scrubbing this. I'm going to go get this neighbor dog to shut up, and I will be right back with you. Alright. Got that dumb dog locked back up. And we're going to keep on working this down. If anybody has any tips or ideas on what I can do to try and get some of this rust off, this is knocking some of it off. This is just a cheap 99 cent store scrubber. And uh, like I said, I'm going to take that sandpaper to it and uh, maybe a couple files and try and get through it. Because you can feel it just built up along the blade. Like I said, I'm not trying to get this back to any pristine condition. I mean, it's a Bud K sword. It's nothing spectacular, but uh, just something fun to do, guys. Some I know somebody out there will understand what I'm talking about when they say they, you just can't leave something like this rotting away in the woods. You gotta at least pull it out, try and do something with it. A fun little project. So I'll probably keep on scrubbing this down. Probably uh, take the sandpaper or the files to it work it for a bit, put it back in the bag with some more WD-40, let it soak maybe another 24 hours, because uh, as you can see, there was no chrome on this at all. Chrome, silver, uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, there was absolutely no, um, nothing but rust. So uh, that WD-40 did eat through some of it. So uh, maybe we can get it to eat through the rest of this if, uh, if I let it set for a little bit longer, but uh, like I said, just keep scrubbing it for a little bit. Um, throw it back in that bag. Let it uh, set a while and uh, see if we can't do something nice to it. And then after we uh, get this blade uh, looking a little bit nicer, go ahead and try and work on this wobbly... Uh, I don't know what they call these. I'm going to have to check it out. Like I said, I, I have no idea about swords, guys. Uh, I am a complete amateur. And... Um, as you can see, see this is horrible condition, uh, but I can work on it. Maybe rewrap this with some paracord. Um, I have some uh, some putty or something I can put in there. JB Weld or something. Try and get this so uh, stuck back together in better condition. Just something fun to do. I'm stoked about it. So that's gonna do it, guys. Just wanted to keep you guys in the loop and share it with you guys since I couldn't share it with uh, anybody on Instagram to let anybody know what I was doing. Decided to make a video about it and uh, share my experience. So um, I may keep the camera out while I keep scrubbing on this stuff if uh, I have any any cool updates or anything starts to work real well. I'll turn the camera back on. But if not, I will talk to you guys soon. California Prepper, happy holidays, guys. Hey there YouTube, alright, we're back, working on the sword like I said, I'll keep the camera out just in case anything else starts working, and I pulled out my uh, beater file, my uh, broken one that I found not too long ago, one I don't care too much about, and I started uh, scraping on it, and I am getting a lot of this surface rust off um, with this hot water, 
soap and this file. So just wanted to share that with you guys. It's working really good, actually. I know some people, if you're wearing headphones, I apologize. This is going to kill you. Man, it is working so good, actually. Um, I might have me a patina looking look here shortly, as you can see. It's working pretty good, I mean, compared to the other side. So, of course, like I said, it's not going to look perfect, but uh, it'll be a lot better than it is. So, super stoked that I'm able to get some of the stuff off be able to sharpen it up to, you know, a decent chopper at least. Something fun to play with. I'm so excited about this. I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but I'm stoked. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and keep working on cleaning this up. And uh, I will show you guys how it looks after I'm done uh, cleaning it up here in this hot water. That's going to do it. California Pepper. I'm out of here for reals this time. Hey there, you two. Well, I know I told you that I was done until uh, I went inside, but I just had to show you how great it turned out. Uh, I've been working on this for about another hour or so. Out here, as you can see, my fingers are pruned. I've been working in this hot water with, these, uh, with this file here and um, this multi-file, but I was only using um, this side here. But check out how great it came out, guys. Knocked just about all that rust off. As you can see, I just have some pitting here um, that I still got to try and get, but I'm really not worried about that. Um, I'm just so stoked that I could knock the rust off, and it really looks, you know, like uh, just a really old, old patina, and uh, it doesn't look too bad, so maybe I can sharpen it up, uh, clean it up a bit more. Man, I am so stoked. Look how great that looks. I'll definitely go inside and um, show you guys the before pictures and uh, show you in a different light just how great this blade turned out after taking those files to it. Yeah, like I said, I've been out here for about an hour. Look how mucky this water has gotten. And uh, files, just uh, been hitting it raw, wetting it down, filing it. And then I took um, just two of these pieces of sandpaper and kind of, uh, you know, hit it right quick to soften up the edges. And boy, it is smooth and it just looks great. Cannot wait to show you guys in the other light. So I'm going to clean all this stuff up, take you guys inside, and I'll show you how great it looks um, in the other light. California Prepper, I'll be right back with you. All right, YouTube, we're now inside where I can show you these pictures without the glare and the finished product so here we go here's the first picture I was trying to show you guys earlier let me see if I can cycle through these so that's how I found it and that's how rusty it was well, I guess that didn't do me any good I guess you can zoom in there there we go see she was pretty rusty Oh, zoom out. There's the bud K symbol. Shows how rusty the blade is. It was horrible. There's me spraying it down with WD-40, wrapping it up in the bag. And that's that. Now, after about an hour with hitting it with uh, hot soapy water and filing it down this is how she looks check that out ain't that sweet looks like a, actually it looks like an original patina uh, doesn't look too horrible as you can see there's still some pitting and uh, it's you know not the nicest finish out there but it's a lot better than that rust and I'll definitely be able to put an edge on this and uh, be able to use this blade now so I'm really stoked about that uh, if anybody has any ideas of anything I can do to help uh, get this pitting out or anything else I can do to make it a little bit better maybe keep sanding it um, but the next thing I'm gonna start working on is getting this wobble out of here and uh, getting a new handle put on
So there's that. Just wanted to show you guys the finished product inside. Gorgeous, gorgeous compared to what it was. I cannot believe I uh, got it this nice at all. <laughs> I had no idea that I, I'd be able to get that rust off. So very excited about that. So thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. California Prepper, I'm out of here.